In today's video I will be showing you how you can have objects highlighted when you can interact with them. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already created some example objects with proximity prompts inside them. Since this tutorial is not about proximity prompts, I highly suggest you check out the documentation for them if you don't know how they work. To start, we need to insert a local script inside starter player scripts. After that, open it up. For this script we'll be using the proximity prompt service because it has two events that will allow us to achieve this effect. The two events are prompt shown and prompt hidden. When both of these events go off, they provide a reference to the affected proximity prompt. Since that is the case, we can use a lookup dictionary that uses the proximity prompt as the key and the highlight object as the value. When the prompt is shown, we need to check if a highlight object already exists in the lookup dictionary. If not, then we can add one. When the prompt is hidden, we need to check if there's a highlight object that exists for that proximity prompt. If one exists, we remove it from the lookup dictionary and destroy it to prevent a memory leak. The last thing we need to do is set the properties for the highlight object. You can use occluded or always on top for its depth mode. I'm going to use occluded. We need to parent the highlight object to the player's player GUI container. And we need to set the Adorni as well. The Adorni can be either the first ancestor which is a base part or the first ancestor which is a model. And that's all we need to do for this effect to work. All that's left is fine-tuning the appearance of the highlight object. The default fill color is red, but I'd prefer if it was white in this case. You can go ahead and check out all the available properties for the highlight object and modify its properties to your liking. Thanks for watching this simple tutorial on how to highlight proximity prompt interactions in Roblox. I'll leave a link in the description to the script as a GitHub gist if you just want to copy and paste the end result. Until next time, keep it cool.